A few days ago, California Governor Newsom went on to Fox News. He went into the belly of the beast. And Sean Hannity thought he had it all down. He was going to let uh, play. He thought that Gavin Newsom, governor of California, would play the same game that Democrats play. And that is allow him to overpower them, not come back as hard as he needed to. And you know what? Gavin Newsom showed Sean Hannity something. He wasn't only prepared, but he didn't play the game on Sean Hannity's turf. He made Sean Hannity play on his turf. And so much so that Sean Hannity, you could see the frustration in his face because he just couldn't lead the discussion. And the governor won't answer the questions to Sean's request, but instead he told the Fox News people watching, hey, this is what's really happening. Now, will they buy it? That's not important. It's not important that the sycophants, the Trump sycophants that, that Sean Hannity feeds, it's not important for them to change. But there are a lot of Fox News viewers who either watch Fox News or, or, or get all the right-wing media that get a chance now to say, oh, really? You mean Donald Trump was really a failure on job creation? Let's see the numbers. You know, I love when, but anyway, let's go ahead and listen to this. And then we'll take it on the other side. I think his policies are failing. Ah, Chips Act, Science Act, do you oppose that? Uh, I will tell you on every measure from the economy, inflation, borders, energy, uh, national security, he's missing in action. Let's talk about them in order. Let's well, talk hang about on. Uh, 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 Wait, but no, I no, want to no. challenge the premise. You said the economy, 13.1 million jobs he's created. More, these are post-COVID jobs. Okay. You know that. Well, I mean, well, that, that's an artificial well, number. It, well, but no, no, no. Then let me just, let me stipulate so. this as an, as an opportunity to engage civilly on this. Okay. Fair point. Your president, Donald Trump, lost 2.6 million jobs mm -hmm. during his four years. We've created 13.1 million. Fine, you can maintain a COVID frame. How about the fact that Joe Biden's created more jobs, six times more jobs than the previous three Republican presidents Is your, combined? Are you going to tell me Sean? that the average family, where we have two-thirds of Americans now living paycheck to paycheck? It was 70 percent under Trump. It was That's 70%. Not true. It under was 70% under Donald Trump. Pre COVID, Trump we had the paycheck. lowest unemployment rate for every demographic. Wait, wait. Now, we have the lowest let black let unemployment me, me in history, you. and you and I are living with the lowest unemployment we had in it. our lifetime, Sean. We you had can't it for make every that up. demographic, and the economy black was Black unemployment's along. record low under Joe Biden. Okay. We had historic low after historic low under Donald Trump. Donald Trump. I mean, here's, but, but he's here's what I don't want to have Trump's happen. clock, Biden, in terms of the progress and job creation. You're, you, you, Look at what he's I, done I, on so jobs. What would you grade Joe Biden's presidency? Well, you're, you're at odds with the American well, people and the Democratic well, Party. I'm just, I'm just dealing with What's the facts. Grade? I'm dealing with what, the facts. What is, what is your grade for I'm him? I'm going to go back. Let's talk. You, you brought up six well, topics. you got to answer one. some questions. I'm answering the ones What's, in order. You brought up the economy. On the economy, let's talk about the economy. You want to give them an A? Inflation, stubborn around the globe. Let's let's but let's talk about inflation. It's down 40% since last summer, 10 months in a row, 4.9%. He was okay. just with the UK prime minister at 6.9%. Is that because of Biden's? I think Fed Biden's policy? economic and energy policies directly yeah. impacted the UK's inflation? No, I am. Or the fact you. that France is 5.5% or Germany's at 6.1%. You're gonna give, you're not. On inflation, we're moving in the right direction. On the issue of the border inflation, security, he inherited 1.4% inflation. It went up to a 40 year Global high. Globally, the 40 year globally, high. Globally, globally, because you just brought so up, so, so you were making an excuse for Trump's dismal jobs record related to COVID. It wasn't a dismal jobs record. You won't acknowledge COVID's relationship to inflation globally. And by the way, let, COVID let me and stop immigration you for a second. impacting right. our inflation. Let, let me stop you. All right, so I would assume <laughs> that's you're gonna give, we we're going to give Biden an A. Sean Hannity actually showed. It is the incompetence of mental, uh, it's mental incompetence. I want you to think about this. Gavin Newsom said that under, gov uh, under President Biden, there is a record, uh, the, it's a record low that, uh, uh, for black unemployment. Just one example. And then Sean says, you know, during the, club, the, the, during the, the, the Trump administration, uh, every demographics kept on going down. Yes, Sean, but Biden broke the record. 
unemployment went down a little bit under, uh, under Donald Trump until the pandemic. Yes, but brother Biden has the record low in 50 years. If I'm not mistaken, Donald Trump's uh, presidency was within the last 50 years. And you know, for every single point that Sean Hannity tried to get out there, Gavin Newsom already had the answer. And, uh, you know, I, I like people like Newsom and Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. When they go into the belly of the beast, the one thing they always are, they're always prepared. That happens, that, that's a problem with a lot of, a, a lot of people when they go into battle. They're simply not prepared in as much as they know what they're talking about and they know that their side is correct. They're just not prepared. Newsom was prepared. Just like AOC, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is always prepared. That's what it takes. Truth, facts, preparedness wins the battle every time. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.